Tinker Time. On it, so let's do it. First, let's grab a square here, and we're going to make the dimensions of this. We're going to go 35 millimeters length, 35 millimeters, whoops, 35 millimeters width, and the height is actually going to be 25 millimeters. What we're going to do is the radius. We're going to drop this down. 2.5 so we'll just take this and go to We're going to change the radius here. We're just going to move this down and we'll get a little closer so we can see here. We'll take the radius down.
snap to 180. Bring it over. We're gonna align these to make this quick. Okay, boom, perfect. Okay. All right, we're gonna move it back just a hair. Okay. We'll raise this up here to where it's just perfectly sitting on there. And you kind of want to zoom in when you're doing this, and that way you can get a really good fit here. And you can see I'm trying to get a good fit here. And you want to just position the camera so that way you got a perfect, perfect fit here. And a pretty good shot, an idea of what you're doing. All right, we'll go this way. Great. All right, now that we have those two pieces aligned, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the top piece a hole, okay? And as you can see, it's gonna carve a little spot right there into that bottom piece. We can also see that if we go up one, one millimeter, that's probably better because now it's not gonna eat into the lip of this. Okay, so now we're going to highlight both of these and we combine that. There we go. We have made our groove indentation that will match up with the lid. All right, we're almost done here, but there's one more thing we gotta do. It's the hinge. Now we're gonna align these real quick. Now to save ourselves a ton of time on the hinge, we're not gonna create that from scratch. Actually, over on Thingiverse, and I'll post the link in the description here so you guys can get a hold of this yourself. But Sculpit is the creator of this particular object, and we are gonna borrow this section the little hinge section, we're just gonna chop that straight out of there and just borrow that piece. So what we'll do is we downloaded that. So you're gonna download that, you're gonna go in and you're gonna import that. And once you've got that imported, we are going to dissect the piece out. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna bring this out of the way so we can see what we're doing. We're gonna grab one of these chop boxes and Bring this over and we're going to bring it down just to make sure. Now the amount here that we're going to take out of this, we want just a tiny bit of lip right here so we know that we're not getting too much or too little. Okay. And then we are going to make a copy of that, bring that second copy over. And like I said, we want to get just a tiny little lip here and then That'll be perfect right there. Now we're gonna highlight all that. We're gonna bind those and now we've got our hinge. And that works great. Now we take this hinge. And we're gonna move it over here. Now as we can see it's a little bit too big for this. So we're gonna we're gonna bring it down to right about right about there. Yeah, I'd say it's about right. So now we're gonna use the alignment tool again. We wanna make sure that everything is perfectly aligned and that works great. Okay, now we're gonna take this middle piece, this hinge, and we're gonna raise it up. And we want, how tall do we want it? Well, we want this ledge, which is even with this one, okay? And we want that to be right here even with this part, okay? So we're gonna do is first we're going to spin this around, okay? Here we go, bring that at 180. All right, so that way the bottom piece is facing this piece here that's opening, okay? All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to, or in other words, the bottom piece has the upward angle of the hinge, okay? Now we're gonna raise this up all right, and we want to get that basically the same exact height as this piece, and I'd say that's pretty close. All right, we're going to bring this. We're going to bring this in here. The idea is going to be to barely connect that. Let's bring this up here another shot. So that's exactly. I'd say that's the exact same height. Now we're going to bring this in, and that looks pretty good. Just bring it into there. And again, we'll bring that one into there. And that way both of those are like firmly attached to that. Align these one more time. There we have it, okay. 
All right, now we're going to combine them into one. And there we have it. Let's make it yellow. Awesome. Yellow is an awesome color. Okay, now we'll take this and we'll rotate it on our build plate. So now we have the piece. It's got the hinge, it's got the clasp, and the box is made. The next step is to print this and see how it looks. If you found this video helpful and you make your own, please leave a comment and let me know how it went. Please like and subscribe to support this channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Tinker Time.